Checking connection. Checking connection. Okay, we are live. Hey guys, welcome to this week's live session. Every Tuesday at 3. So we are here today, ready to answer some questions. So if you have any questions, send them through on the live feed and we will answer them live. Cool guys, awesome. It's awesome being live again. Uh, we had a few meetings this week about our strategy for 2018, what we're going to do, um, all of the things that we have planned, and there's a lot of, a lot of cool things coming up. Uh, so watch this space. Um, yo, we're working on a lot of awesome things. Uh, let me just fix here. Uh, mobile data. Okay, great. Sometimes the data just jumps from mobile to Wi-Fi and then back to mobile and then as soon as the line catches a dip somehow the live feed just disconnects um, so the Wi-Fi can't catch a dip it should be like constant the whole time and as we all know in South Africa that's almost impossible so okay great guys so this week we're going to talk a bit about um, working on weekends and what you should do um, Oh, let me just try and fix this over here. Okay. Great. Yeah, so we're going to talk a bit about how, what hours do you work, why, and uh, what is necessary. So a lot of the times when I work with young entrepreneurs, I ask them if they're fit enough. So if they're fit enough to do what's necessary for them to become successful. So a lot of the times, especially with the younger entrepreneurs, I find that they think that with minimum type of work, they can actually accomplish great things. Um, because a lot of people see on Instagram pics or on Instagram, they follow these entrepreneurs that shows their Lamborghinis and the nice um, you know clothing that they wear and all of the parties that they're going to and that's not necessarily the reality of being an entrepreneur most of the time it's very hard work it's late nights it's a lot of meetings and a lot of people also think that um, they want to get out of employment because they think that entrepreneurship is easier because your time is flexible and you can do what you want and not employed for a boss anymore that is also not the reality. I worked as an employee, as an industry engineer, and I'm also in work, or, or, and I'm also an entrepreneur now. So, I've experienced both sides of the coin, and it's not true that leaving your work to be more flexible, to be for it to be more easy, uh, that's not true. Entrepreneurship is way harder and much more stressful and uh, much more time consuming than being an employee. I think the difference is as an employee, you have a boss or someone else that can take the responsibility and um, that you can go to if something is wrong. Uh, as an entrepreneur, you are responsible all the time. If your clients don't pay, you are responsible. If you, um, if you don't get income for the month, you are responsible. You need to generate your own sales. You need to be resourceful. Um, if your employees leave at five o'clock in the afternoon, you still need to stay to finish all of the uh, last things that needs to be done. So that's the difference. Whereas if you're employed, you have someone else that is responsible for your salary. You have someone else that's responsible for getting sales. If the company doesn't do well, that's not your problem. You still get your salary, but the guy at the top needs to sort the, those problems out and figure out where the salaries are going to come from. Um, if you don't have work, there's someone else responsible for generating work for you. Um, all of those things, you, you get told when to wake up in the morning, when to be at work and when to go home. Whereas an entrepreneur, you have to decide yourself. And it's very easy if you're only reliable on yourself and responsible for yourself to sleep an extra hour late or to go early to bed. So then it's very easy to cheat in that sense. So to get back to the main question uh, was, Albert, do you work on weekends and why? Uh, yes, I do. And it's important for you to, to understand 
that as an entrepreneur, you're going to have to put in extra work, especially in the beginning phases as you build your business. Obviously, we want to work to that point where your business becomes almost a passive income, where you can just maintain it or manage it while it runs itself. But in the initial phases, you need to grind, you need to build something. And entrepreneurship is all about creating value. So you build value, you build something that has value in the end. So for example, uh, one of the companies I started up and is working in now, we started with literally a thousand five hundred bucks. That's what we started with. That was the value. And then through the years, we built value. We built value to a company that now turns over 500, 700,000 a year. So now you have that type of value that you've built over time. And that is important. It's the building that takes the effort, that takes the time over the weekends, that takes the late nights. And that's what you need to understand. So if you're thinking about moving from employment to entrepreneurship, don't think it's going to be easier. Don't think it's going to take less time. And don't think you're going to have more time to do whatever um, you want to watch more series or whatever you want to do. So the main thing that you need to keep in mind when trying to make that transition is purpose. And that is where entrepreneurship takes the cake. That is where entrepreneurship is way better. Because in, in employment, you work towards a common purpose of someone else. So someone else, the CEO or the directors, they choose a purpose, they choose a goal, they choose something that the whole company has to work towards. Now, if your purpose aligns with that purpose or if your goals align with those goals, then it's great. Then you're working towards that goal. But most of the time, your personal goals does not align with the boss's goals. So the boss tells you you need to be there um, every weekday from nine to five and you have to do these things. But these things aren't necessarily your goals and that's not necessarily what you want to do. In that case, entrepreneurship is way better because then you work all those hours, then you spend all of that time on your own goals, on what you want to focus on, on your purpose. But it's not gonna be less work, it's not gonna be easier, but it's on your future and your goals and your purpose. So that's the difference. So you need to work over the weekends. Um, I had a previous live session uh, where I talked about why and what you do. So basically in the week, you work in your own business, you do the day-to-day -day activities, the emails, the managing, the um, putting out fires, the you know working with employees and everything. But then over the weekend, you need to get out of that kind of rat race or whatever and then step back and look at your business from an outside perspective to see where you are. Because when you're in the week, busy hustling and grinding, you can't see your business from an outside perspective. You can't see where you are in the timeline and in your goal line. You only see what you're doing now. So over the weekend, pause that for a second uh, you know, put your emails aside, phone aside, step back, read some books to open your mindset, uh, look from your business from an outside perspective, see where you are in your timeline and your goal line, um, so that you, when you go into the week, you have some new knowledge, some new ideas, and you have a good um, idea of where you're going and where you're at. So yeah, guys, that's a bit about this week's session, this week's question about uh, what's the work hours as an entrepreneur? Do you work over the weekends? Is it easier than being an employee? And uh, I hope that answers your question. Okay, guys, tune in every Tuesday at 3. The Instagram feed didn't work again today. There's normally about 20 people on Instagram asking questions. So if you've missed that and if you want the answer to the live questions that people's asking, check the Instagram stories on my Instagram page as well. Otherwise, have a great week and see you next week, Tuesday at 3.